excluded from these problems posed by solid waste, but are the impacts of solid waste unavoidable? Well, we're now joined by Magdalena Amashili in Delulua and arts and media student, and that's Olga Chilombo, the manager of internship at RDJ Consulting Services, to share their views and findings on solid waste management and the economy during a public health at um, UNAM yesterday. So, good afternoon, ladies, and welcome to NBC. Good afternoon. Thank you. Firstly, let's start with you, Magdalena. Um, how does solid waste management actually link to the economy? Solid waste management is linked to the economy in the way that, um, in through cost, the solid, uh, the management of the solid waste, the way we are managing the the, the solid waste when we are recycling. Uh, um, reusing and um, disposing we have to manage the we there is a cost in this use taking the solid waste management to the disposal to the landfills and again managing the landfill and again um, uh, uh, having the awareness awareness on the solid waste management Okay, you've you've mentioned that um, in your research, um, what are actual what are the actual benefits of um, and, and challenges on solid waste management, and how does this actually affect the economy? I just want to pose that question to Magdalena now, um, just to tell me a little bit more on that. Or is it Chilombo? Okay. Sorry, Olga. Sorry. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, there are some benefits related to managing solid waste properly, mm -hmm. and the. Uh, the first benefit is that there will be job creation. So whenever there's job creation, there is poverty alleviation, definitely. Mm -hmm. And that is good for the economy. We also have the economic opportunities, for example, uh, for uh, new jobs will be created, obviously. So there will be the youth will be busy doing something instead of just staying at home, seated and doing nothing. And then recovery of materials will also be uh, kind of a benefit because we will be producing less material. Let's say, for example, bottles. If we reuse some of our bottles, we will not have so much uh, to landfill. Mm -hmm. And we also have the reduction of pollution. Pollution is a serious problem which, is a p which poses risk to health. So this is a benefit for uh, our health as well when pollution is reduced. The challenges that we came across is the existence of illegal dump, uh, dump sites in our communities, in the society. So it becomes a problem when the states, uh, when the solid management waste uh, organization have to deal with that because you are not supposed to dump where people are normally dumping and getting there to solve that problem is an issue. So we also have a kind of a challenge of yes. lack of education mm -hmm. from, the, from the society itself. So people are not uh, properly educated on how to deal with solid waste. They just throw anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's a big challenge. Another challenge is financial constraint mm -hmm. to, re to collect, to recycle, and to perhaps uh, dispose. We need money, and that is a challenge. If money is not enough, like uh, it will be a problem to manage that solid waste. Okay, you just mentioned a lot of challenges. Um, what can we as Namibians actually do to manage solid waste management, to handle it effectively? Okay, in order for us to be able to effectively manage solid waste and preferably in a sustainable manner, mm -hmm. we need to educate uh, our people. We need to educate the society. Currently, we have uh, some modules in primary education like environmental modules and social studies which do not totally cover the solid waste issue. So I think adding that to our, our curriculum could help some way. We could also try to create awareness on solid waste. Yesterday yes. we had a public lecture and many students were there and students are sometimes ignorant. They throw bottles everywhere. Yes. And so it was a good thing. Everybody got to learn something. So let's spread out the message through more awareness campaigns in order to solve this problem. Now let me just conclude back to Magdalena again. Um, the country which is sparsely populated in Namibia, as we all know, how can we further encourage future, future discussions? I heard Olga mentioning about you having a public lecture with students. What else can be done to actually address the impact of solid waste management in our country? 
Um, I would say the government or we in collaboration with the public, we can come up with the awareness to educate the public and also to include the solid waste management um, in the school curriculum to educate the students or the from the younger age and also the public on how we should manage the waste and how on what we should do to reduce the the cost on solid waste management and what about the private sector what role can they play the private sector we already have some private sectors that are playing a role in this like rent a drum they collect um, they collect waste many solid waste and they some of some other sectors they 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 collect they uh, sort and they recycle Olga Martelina thank you so much for your time Pleasure. really insightful discussion there on solid waste management thank you for joining us on the news thank you thank you and that was Magdalena Amashili Indalulua and arts and media student Olga Chilombo, manager of internship at RDJ's consulting services, sharing their findings on solid waste management and the economy.